In this tutorial demonstration, I'm going to try to exploit a Windows XP Pro machine on the network and set up a persistent backdoor. Um, I've tried to do this a few times and it hasn't worked, so this will be my last attempt to get this to work and then I'm moving on. So, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show my IP address is 4.253 and then I'll try to ping the the victim machine at 4.104. So the victim is going to be at 4.104. You can see that I can ping I can ping him. So now all we have to do is launch MSF console. Okay, and we'll wait for that to launch. Okay, Metasploit has now launched and what we're going to do is we're going to use an exploit that we know already works. So we're going to use the Windows SMB MS 08067 underscore net API. Okay, that exploit. Going to set the payload to Windows Meterpreter bind TCP. We're going to set the remote host. I'm using up arrow to arrow through my commands here at 4.104 and now all we have to do is type exploit. Okay, and you can see it's found the machine and it's opened up a interpreter session so we just successfully exploited the Windows XP Pro machine. So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to try to set up a persistent backdoor so we're going to run persistence dash H to look at our options and you can see here various options. Um, automatically start the agent when the system boots. That looks like a good one. Um, and there's interval, the port that it's going to be listening on, um, those kinds of things here that we need to set. Uh, let's see here. Option, the payload is the Windows Meterpreter reverse TCP uh, is the default. The port so what we'll do is we'll try to do it when the system boots, okay? Automatically start the agent when the system boots. All right, or we'll do S, as a service with system privileges. Automatically start the agent on boot as a service with system privileges. Let's try that. So we'll say dash S with a capital S. We'll say dash lowercase i for the interval that we'll try on. It'll say it'll try every, let's say, seven seconds. All right. We'll put a space and we'll do the port. We'll set the port to be 4449. And then our address that it's going to look for. So dash r and we put our IP address here. And our IP address was Let's see here. Our IP address is 253. 253. Okay. And that looks good. All right, we'll hit enter. And that is sending the persistent interpreter program to the client. Okay, installing it as a service. Notice it tells you it created this service on the Windows XP client. We'll verify that later. Okay. It's executing a script in the Windows temp folder, and that's it's a VBS script, it looks like. Um, we'll see if this works. So now what we want to do is we want to, let's see here, let's exit, let's, let's reboot that Windows XP machine. Let's exit our interpreter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use a different exploit. We're actually going to create a listener to listen to our shell coming back to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to say use multi handler. All right, now we've loaded the handler into Metasploit. So now we'll set the payload 
and so what we'll do is we'll set payload and we'll use a Windows meterpreter but it's going to be a reverse TCP coming back to us all right the shells coming back to us from the other client okay okay we set the payload but we now need to set our listening port to 44 49 and we're going to set the L host the listening host or the local host to 192.168.4.253 which is our IP address okay and now we can just run the exploit now when we run the exploit now we're we're waiting for the client which we already rebooted to send us a um, a shell right and it should be trying to contact us every seven seconds so now that we've done this now what I'm gonna do is to make sure that this exploit works this persistent backdoor that's gonna be sent to us is um, fires when there's a restart of the client machine so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go to that um, Windows XP client and then restart it so that we can see if we can get that alright so let's see if we can get that client up again so I'll open this client up and alright so there's the client machine and what I'll do is I'll open up command prompt you can see that message that um, there had been a change MS config was warning us that someone had changed and added a service uh, on startup so and then we'll just type shutdown dash R to restart this client machine alright so that should that should restart in a second here and then what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll check to see if we're sent a shell to our Metasploit backtrack machine which is listening right now at 4.253 on port 4449 okay as you can see the um, Windows client just shut down and now it should be restarting and so we will sh find out soon enough whether um, once it reboots it'll start trying to send us a shell every seven seconds still waiting up oh, look at that sending stage interpreter session 2 opened boom there we go we just received a shell interpreter um, interpreter program is now launched and we uh, received it from the client so the back door is working and as soon as that client XP machine restarted it sent us a interpreter uh, shell and we're in we could type in here shell and we've got access to the C drive. Let's take a look on the Windows client to see some of those um, payloads that were delivered to the XP client. So we'll open up another shell and I'll run our desktop. and so let's take a look at some of those things you can see here that system configuration utility popped up so this would be a giveaway that something has changed on the system right so you can see here if you click OK and you go to services so this is kind of a giveaway here let's see if we can find our evil service that we put in here okay and you can see from I've tried this a couple of times so uh, this might be a previous one the service that it set up was XLXW XLXW so if we go in here 
This was a previous attempt right here. That's not the one. There it is. XLXW. Here's the evil service um, and unknown service. It says it stopped, but that doesn't mean it wasn't effective. And you can see it was installed. All right. Um, you can see now, let's go into my computer and we'll go to the C drive, Windows, and we'll go to the temp folder. And you can see here's my previous attempts. He's, here's all the VB scripts from previous attempts to get this persistent meterpreter shell working, right? And there they are. There's the VB scripts. All right, and what else did we want to take a look at? So the VB scripts, installing as a service, um, and that's it. SSVMAF. SSVMAF. So it worked. So now all we'd have to do is every time this Windows XP machine starts and restarts, every time it reboots, it'll attempt to send us a meterpreter command shell giving us a backdoor into their system. All we have to do is set up a listener to listen for it. 